continue to take a look at Gauteng Premier Banyazali Sufi's announcement of his new cabinet. Replacing him as MEC for Education is the former chairperson of the Education Portfolio Committee in the Gauteng Legislature, Matome Chelwane. He joins us now to take us through his plans for the next two years. Thank you very much for availing yourself this morning. Let's get straight into it in terms of your priorities. Uh, thank you. Greetings to you and greetings to your viewers. What are some of your, the priorities or areas of interest that you have identified uh, for the education department? Yeah, well, firstly, let me say that uh, uh, the previous MEC, who is the premier, has been doing a sterling job uh, as the premier, the MEC of education. And I would not want to say that there is something to to really fix uh, when there was not really much that has been spoken. So the first thing that will be done is that uh, to assure the residents of Holding that there will be a continuation of uh, of the sterling work that has been that was done and the standard that was set by the previous MEC. So in terms of all the programs that is were in place by the department that we have currently, they will continue. I'm talking about the uh, School of Specialization, uh, rolling out ICT, and so forth. So there will, there will be just seamless continuation and service. And also, very importantly, currently we are about to, uh, about to start the uh, metric exams. And you know that uh, in the previous year we did the perform because we even got uh, second. We, although we dropped by <laughs> a percent, eh? percent, uh, but this year we are comfortable that we will get a substantial increase uh, in terms of uh, metric process. So, so basically it's just going to be a seamless uh, work. We want to continue doing the work that we've been doing for the past couple of years in the department. Uh, so there's not really going to be much uh, changes uh, uh, from the department side. Um, the former MEC, now Premier, also championed the issue of language um, at schools. He also championed the issue of inclusion of learners um, at the so-called previous or former Model C schools. Is this something that you'll also be taking forward? Yes, definitely. That's, that's one of the things that the online admission is involving. It's doing away with the old system of schools where parents are subjected to the mercy of to school management. And that uh, we saw that over the previous years, it used to isolate and keep schools at a certain race, color. So that's what we're going to be continuing. Hence, we have this online admission system that talks to merit, that talks to first come, first serve, and that talks to include. So that will continue. And obviously, that should be supported by curriculum changes and language uh, uh, support systems in place. So that will be uh, continuing as well. Sure. Um, maybe just to, to, as you rightfully, well, maybe not rightfully mentioned, but as you mentioned, um, that uh, there's no major changes that are going to be made. You're just simply going to be coming in to ensure uh, continuity. Um, the Premier yesterday also highlighting the issue of the people of townships and making sure they have access to not just quality education but quality health care as well. What are some of your areas of priority? What are you passionate about that you actually want to, to lead? Yeah, yeah. Um, as I've spoken earlier, that we, we, that we are currently rolling out the schools of specialization. So far we've launched about 21 uh, and that talks to specialized skills that will be required to grow an economy specialized schools that will require to grow the skills base of the country. Now, that will be a very key focus. And increasing the number of those specialized schools in our townships, it will be, it's one of the key programs that will be undertaken. Uh, as you know, the, we have a uh, school of aerotropolis, engineering, UK. So those are the key skills base that we want to produce, harnessing from the townships. So that will be part of uh, the contribution of the department with regard to uh, township focus. Do you believe that the curriculum in its current form is preparing South Africans or young people in South Africa um, for the future? You touched on digitization, but the rollout also still needs to be improved, especially in far-flung areas. 
the education do you believe that the yeah. education system or the curriculum in its current form is preparing or positioning young people uh, to be or play their part and be the best amongst the world you touched on digitization and providing tablets to school etc um, but the rollout also still needs to be expanded to far-flung areas are we preparing our young people through our education system do you believe to be as competitive as they can be yes I, I, yes of course of course hence, hence i'm saying to you that we have then taken it a, a tweak and launching schools of specialization where the skills will be specialized in the current form if the education it is producing the results i mean we look at that can be seen by some of the top uh, uh, scientists that are in the world who come from the very same system uh, that is currently we, we are what we've been uh, 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 taught in our schools. So so that still remains there. But we also spoke about the ICT. I, I wanted to also add that the ICT rollout has started in township schools. So we are going to we're ensuring that all township schools, when we are done, they will be in ICT schools. Uh, so that is part of ensuring that we are preparing our children for, for the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Chilwani, the new MEC for Education in Gauteng.